I just wanted to show you my setup. I've got a uh, little homemade tripod that I attach on my table with a uh, grip or a, oh, what do they call them, vice grip or something like that. Anyway, I can change the position of it on the table anywhere so I can zero in. on the clay, which uh, I'm going to get back to right now. Oh. Now, what I've decided to do as far as the hair goes, I'm going to stick with a loose hairstyle. I could get complicated, but uh, I think a loose hairstyle would be a lot better than uh, braids or anything else like that. And this finger is really numb tonight. Don't know why. The thumb is a little numb right on the inside area. A little bit on there, but much more there. But squeezing the clay helps my hand feel better. And I put this board, it's just a regular pine board, down to use as a kind of like a cutting board to roll clay on. Rolling clay uh, takes practice. If uh, you're careful, it won't flip around and give you all kinds of problems. And what I do to give it any, some kind of texture is I uh, take my thumbnail right here where the soft skin meets the thumbnail, press it into the uh, clay, and then I just Sort of weave it back and forth. And that gives it a nice little texture. Just got to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the first hair and put it right, actually, right against the skull. Bring it behind the ear. Now, the wind is coming from behind and left. But his body's going to be shielding this hair here, so it won't be picked up as much as maybe hair that gets out here towards the uh, back of his shoulder. Sculpting is has a lot to do with forensics. <laughs> You've got to figure out what's the phys physical effects of uh, his movement. And uh, wind is going to have on his body and on his hair. I want to make him look like Gollum from uh, Lord of the Rings, but you got to start with the hair someplace and just let it tell you where it's going to go. This is where the hair is starting to get hit by the wind. And being puffed up maybe on the back from behind. I'll just see where it goes from there. I think it will put some clay down to act as act as backing so that uh, it's filled in behind. 
so that, uh, like I said, they make a mold of it. Sculpture is all, nothing more than an illusion of what you're looking at. It's an illusion of more going on than actually is. And, uh, it's like a magician trick, except uh, you're doing it in clay. I don't know how better to describe it than that. Now you see why I lay the clay down so I can put the strands of hair on top of that. I'm giving the uh, hair some body right down the middle. That was uh, head. It's, it looks better than being flat against the hair head. kind of have to be a hair designer when you're a sculptor, especially if you're doing figures that uh, have hair. <laughs> coats you wear when you sculpt. Now, modern art, you don't have to worry about that. You just basically uh, arrange things in interesting forms. But that's what I'm doing right now is uh, arranging hair in an abstract sort of way. thinking about the 
the feather. The only thing is, you got to make the feather interesting from every angle, and it's not that way for me right now. That's better. I'm going to redo these feathers, I think. Well, that's all I'm going to do today. I wasn't going to do much today anyway because it is Saturday and I wanted to do some stuff around the house here. And But uh, I sat here looking at this thing and I wanted to get started on it. Wait a minute. I think I'm going to do just a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna call it quits right now. Only because I got other things I gotta do. I'm liking the hair. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like this. I might just change it again, but it's a good start. Let me sort of explain what's going on in this piece. He's ran out of arrows, so he's dropped his bow and his quiver which is laying on the ground. I know you can't see it very well. And uh, he's taking his war club and uh, his shield, which uh, the strap is flapping in the breeze here. And uh, he's getting ready to take a final stand. That's why I called it Unconquered. All right. See you next week, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.